Hey guys, it's me KC, and welcome back to The Walking Dead Michonne, Episode 2. We've got Michonne here, and we have Sam and Pete. And long story short, Sam was shot, but we were able to get to her dad's house. And now she's been patched up and she's resting. But we see Chompy the Dinosaur, which unfortunately, sadly, reminds us of our kids. So I'm assuming we're probably going to have to click it. In fact, I know so, because I did that in the end of the previous episode, then I stopped it. And this is exactly pretty much where I left off. Okay. Colette? Elodie? You girls in here? Look for evidence of what happened to your daughters. Elodie, that's, that's a name I've never heard before, I'll be perfectly honest. Elodie. It's like she didn't like the M. In the beginning of the word, instead of going Melody, she went Elody. I have heard the name Colette. Colette. A painting. Is it a good painting or a bad painting? It's a heavy painting. I can barely do better than her, but just barely. Not joking. What? All right, it seems like they suddenly went out the one of the room. Sneakers. I never call them sneakers. I've always called them running shoes. Whoa. I mean, this is obviously when it all went down, probably. I've got to click this. Bloody hands on a window. That's, that's crazy. I don't know, that would be so terrifying if I was in a position. Hmm. Now this area might look familiar to people who played or watched the first episode of this. This is where we were, like, literally in the very beginning of the game. What is that? Blood splatter. Uh, that, that, that better not be a children's blood. This is the first time I've actually got a chance to really look at some things. Ah. I got the volume turned really, really high. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. On one hand, I can hear every little detail, which is it's great. It sounds amazing. But when you get a big jump, oh god, that'll get you. Alright, let's go over here. Mutilated corpse. I'm sure I did that. Man, look at all that smoke. Kitchen knife. Broken dishes. Cordless phone. Let's pick it up. Let's redial. She's nervous. Hi. You've reached Michonne. Please leave a message after they the They tried to call me. Hey, they're wrong. How did I miss them? God damn it. 
Who? Oh, her family probably tried to call, maybe. Or was it her husband? It's a nice place. But that's not really relevant, I suppose. <laughs> Going off, I'm just commenting. It's a nice place, because it is. I like to notice things, you know? Like this bloody knife. I really want to know what happened. So the final item is the broken dishes and blood. What the hell happened here? Hmm. Alright, so I think we've systematically looked at everything. Except for a rolling suitcase. What is inside? You left this all behind. Ooh. Go after the stranger. I don't. I don't even know what's going on. I have no clue what's going on. And your phone. Hello. Oh, Michelle, it's Donna. Donna. I've been trying to get a hold of their dad. Are the girls with you? I, I don't know where they are. No one's answering. Yeah, I am looking for them. I've been looking for them. Me too. God, I hope they're okay. I, I, I talked to Dominic earlier, but there was, there was screaming. Christ, it was horrible. I don't know if it was him or who, but God, Michonne, he sounded so scared. The girls, too, crying, just crying. I, I couldn't stand it. Poor thing, they must be terrified. Where was he taking them? Donna, where was he taking the girls? Here, to my place, outside the city. Thought it'd be safer, but they should have been here hours ago. We have to find them. They could be anywhere. Probably took them somewhere Can else. Can we take a hold of them? I, I don't... Where do we... Uh, I'm where gonna we keep go? searching. I'm gonna keep searching here. Hey, hey, what are you... Oh, oh, please, please, don't... Oh, no, she's dead. Why am I listening? Who are you talking to? What? Oh, well, geez, I guess I was just in the moment. Distant memories unlocked. Did did you say Donna? Yes, I actually did. You okay? Just remembering someone. Play it cool. Just thinking about someone I once knew. It's okay. I do that too. Well, I made a friend now. We share things. John, he... He went to talk to the kids. Make sure they're alright. While I watched over you. Who's John? Sorry about this. John isn't big on people he doesn't know. What's that for? Rabbits, mostly. Possum once in a while, if we get lucky. Possum actually tastes decent, if you cook it right. So, yeah, this is where I apologize for almost shooting you. Emphasis on almost. I was just worried. Mm. About I don't Sam. hold a grudge. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter now. No. I guess not. If it makes you feel any better, I'm not a great shot. Aha, so you meant to hit us, but you suck horribly. That patch of dirt? His mom's buried there. 
fear That's so sad. bad she just she was sick not in the head something with her heart she couldn't handle it I guess I never understood yeah, that yeah definitely poor kids those poor children John told them she died in her sleep tried to spare them not that it helped much It wasn't for Sam. No. No, Greg. I just need more time. More. No. No. I'm here, Sam. Hey, don't move, okay? Don't move. Sam, no. Unless you moved. Mission, we have to help him. It's a bit too late too for weak. that. Pull me up. Just stay down, Sam. I need to help him. Uh. Sam, Greg is dead. No, Greg. She'll still remember him soon enough. Sam. So that was John. I was confused for a second there. I was the father. I know John can make a strong first impression, but he's what's keeping this entire family from being buried out there. You gotta fight like hell for what you care about, right? Something that makes all this shit worth it. It's time to be deep. What do you care about? That for you. My parents had me. But never seemed to want me around. Sam, though, she... She always did. God, I hated her guts when I first met her. She used to pick on me all the time. Thought she was tough shit. Little did she know, I was tough shit, too. I thought they were sisters. They are not. You'd be crazy to stay here, John. This woman normally... Enough. There's no decision to be made on this. I need a word with you. In private. Yes, sir. Well, this is going to go well. I guess I feel like he's not going to want to just shoot the breeze and have a beer, you know? What was that noise? I, I, I guess that was a door closing? I don't know. Do you have children? A son? A daughter? I do. Two little girls. Mom, we love you. It snowed the day my wife died. Her heart gave out. Sam found her. She... She passed in her sleep. We buried her so the boys wouldn't have to see her like that. The snow... It covered her grave. We erased it. Doesn't but matter she how she died. I'm really sorry for your loss. Thank you. I've tried it's to. Not gonna matter if I know anyway, right? But the past, it always seems to find you. Ever since Sophia, I've tried to keep our family from harm. 
but we're falling apart piece by piece. And now that Sam's hurt, and Greg's... I could really use your help. Your friend Pete told me all about Norma. About what happened. If she finds us, we wouldn't stand a chance. But you seem like someone who can hold their own. Sam said you could help me. If you do that, I'll give you guys a hand. Anything. Whatever you need. Children shouldn't have to see this. Greg never turned into one of these things, did he? Or those... whatever they are. It's not gonna matter anyways. No, he was Greg until the end. <gasps> Thank God. Why well, give him more heartache, you know? It's not gonna matter in the end, right? What the heck? Oh. Man, come on. They get their bad. I... I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep it together. But what if you just found out your daughters were dead? And you weren't there. You were miles away, safe and sound. How would you feel? Your kids need you to stay strong. You, you're right. I'm all they have. Hey, oh shit, oh shit, I'm dead. What the hell, you know, <sighs> As soon as he opened the door, I had that in the back of my mind. I'm like, close the door as fast as you can. But I never said anything. I just didn't think they would be <laughs> staking out there this entire time. I said no now <laughs> to expect stuff like that. Oh, God. That was crazy. Okay. Fuck. Peekaboo. Fuck you. <clears throat> this got it trapped like a rat now. Find her. Oh, my God. Get down, get down. Okay, good. She's smart. That's where that rifle's gonna come into play. That's an awful shot. Tanny's a possum. I hear possums are good. Oh no 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 no! Go back. I don't want to. I don't want to get shot. Attack. Let's go for I'll that take one. Take the one near the fountain. We can drown him. Peekaboo yourself. Where's Where Randall? Where are you? Which one's Randall? I want to go up to Randall. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I didn't realize I could walk forward. Dude, I am just a cat. In the nighttime, in the darkness. Sneaking up on my prey. A cat is a bad animal to, for this choice. It should be like a cougar. Tiger. I forgot again that I can move forward. Time to die! Right through the neck! Oh my god! Choke on your blood! Oh, what's the matter? Oh, you have your gun. Shit. <laughs> Thank you, Pete. Wasn't even worried about it. But still, where's Randall? <laughs> Fuck you! Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! That's the way you do it! Oh my god! Party crashers! 
Oh, jeez. Crap. He's good. What the hell happened? It's a Q action. Not fair. I'm not getting an option. Oh, jeez. That'll do it. He's still going. Come on. What the fuck? He broke my arm. Yes. I just sound this is awfully familiar. That's right, you're about to pass out. You're still alive. Lock him in. I think this is good stuff. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that would be so painful, but you deserve it. Fucker. You alright? Not dead yet. You. Still was all of them. What the hell is she popping her shoulder back in? She's tough. She's a tough SOB, no question. Time to get him to talk. Any means necessary. Here we go. Torture time. Oh, this gotta be so painful. Oh shit! You must be pretty proud of yourself, huh? Caught yourself a golden goose. What if you think I'm shitting any eggs? Forget it. <laughs> Around. Woo doge. <laughs> I like that. I don't like you, man. Well, well, well. Looks like it's time to have a talk with Norma. Does Norma know we're here? She doesn't even know I'm here. Otherwise, you'd be hearing a neighborly knock on your door right about now. Randall? Randall, are you getting this? You, uh, want to get that for me? We heard gunshots. If you don't check in, I'm sending everyone in that direction. Shit. Shit. Hey, Randall, pick up, goddammit. You gonna answer? Talk to her, Michonne. Don't make the same mistake again. Where the hell are you? You could just blurt yeah, out Randall. and say something, right? Tell her my hands if I stuff. And you heard her. This is Randall a bad decision. This is bad. You could easily no. say something bad. This feels mighty familiar. Except you're there, and I'm here. So, Miss Shum, what do you want me to say to her? I don't know. On account of me hoping to avoid more broken fingers, your wish is my command. Call off your sister, or I break every bone in your hand. I'll play nice. No, you're not. No, you're not. I don't have a good feeling about this. Hold and okay. Hey, Norma. I wasn't finished yet. I was doing what you said, Michonne. Should I do this? I'm oh, I'm such a bad guy. There goes the figure. Squishy, squishy. I shouldn't be taking joy out of this, but he deserves it. I lost you. It's too late now. We're screwed either way. Let's talk through this, Norma. We can figure it out. Michelle, you ought to kill several of my people, so we're not starting off on a good foot. Did you hurt him? If you so much as breathed on my brother, I'll find you and make what happened on the ferry look like a goddamn. I'm gonna be a badass. Screw That's this. A fucking guarantee. No one Language. I want to look into that. You bitch! This little game you're playing, I don't fucking like it. 
We'll be there soon. You know, this alone time, you and me together, it's been real nice. But that all ends when my sister gets here. I'm gonna take that wrench and break your skull. Then Sam's and yours. And last but not least, those kitties too. You. I saw their little heads in the window. Oh, yeah. Just breathe. Just breathe before we bash the skull in. You know, their skulls don't break so much as. Kind of Screw, we're gonna break his hand. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Worth that. Guess I hit a button. You did. Michonne. Well, hey now. Don't you two look like your daddy? Back when he still had a face. <laughs> he's still he's persistent, I'll give him credit. What? Yeah. Got a big hole there now. Fudge. What a way to tell them. He's dead now. Please tell me he's fucking with us. Please. Randall murdered your dad, Sam. That's so sad. That's what I was thinking. Bargaining chip. Randall has more value if he's alive. Gives us something to bargain with when Norma gets Listen here. Listen to me. That won't work. They only bargain with bullets. All she wants is her brother back. That's it. We're out of the equation. You need to kill him, or I will. Sam, wait! No matter what I say, you're just gonna do whatever you want anyway. I know you've already made up your mind. Well, maybe this will be the first time I listen to Pete. Well, <laughs> I ain't had the bell of the ball. Well, maybe that's you. Shut up. Because when this dance is over, you're fucked. Kill me, and Norma hunts you down until you're all dead. Fucked! Let me live, and I do even worse. Fucked. But we both know how this is gonna end, Michonne. You like killing me. And you'd like killing me, wouldn't you? Just tell old Randall the truth. I got thick skin. You won't hurt my feelings. You're wrong, Randall. Am I? Well, maybe, maybe you think you can rise above all that. But there ain't no heaven up there, honey. And there ain't no hell down below. There's only this shit every day until you die. Then you know what's the fucking kicker? You get up and keep walking. If you got a point, get to it already. On my way, darling. This is the world your kids are dying in, Michelle. Oh, you don't say that. Oh, there's me. Or dying in. Or are in that fucking purgatory. Shut up. Don't talk about that. Either way. They're suffering. And mommy isn't there. Don't do it, don't! We need we them alive! Have our demons, honey. Some um, are on the inside. Some are sitting right You know what? Us, wondering what I don't want to do this just yet, but he's right. We don't have a choice. Dead or alive, 
no blue we're gonna be get, for them anyway. get up after or whatever I don't know Jesus Ugh. I couldn't speak properly. What I obviously meant to say was we're screwed no matter what, like he said. Quiet time. That's a pretty clever way of uh, talking about that achievement. Night night for him. Because I know that the Norma likes to talk. She doesn't really want to be the person who, you know, will go after some of his violence. But, you know, if we let him go, he's just going to go come after us, right? So <laughs> we don't have a choice. Is that it? That's how it is. Okay. I spent a lot of time in low, low places. Where you only have your thoughts for company. And those can be mean, nasty. You want to believe all lives and all deaths have a purpose. Believe me, they don't. It's true. Things always fall apart. But we're Whoa. the ones who bring them down. Well, I guess we can't stay there then. Well, I didn't think it was going to end so soon. But that's it. So, I killed him. Like I said, we've got the reasons. They're coming after us no matter what anyway, so. Did you keep heat with you or let him go off on his own? It's about split 45.7%. Did you pick up the phone or go after the footsteps in the hallway? You and 39.6% of players picked up the phone. Who was the stranger? Was this supposed to be her husband? Did you reveal to Paige that you nearly committed suicide? Which one is Paige again? How did you handle the radio call from Norma? 35.7% of players chose to make Randall speak to her. I have chose horribly wrong in all of these, except for the final one, which is barely above 50. What did you do to Randall? 52.6% of players bashed Randall's head in. Not killed Randall, bashed his head in. Wow. Okay, guys. Well, that was episode two, The Walking Dead Michonne. You know, by far the, the better episode of the two. You know, the first one, as I said in the beginning of this video, or the, the beginning of last video, part one of episode two, they were building up the first episode, I think. This is where everything kind of hits the fan. And I made my choices. We're stuck with it. I, I, I really wish I had actually gone after the stranger. I just really wanted to hear who was on the other end of the phone. So I actually thought it was going to be my husband, which it obviously wasn't. It was Donna, whoever the heck Donna was, because I can't remember. I'm sure they probably mentioned it already, but that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I think I want to say there's only three episodes altogether, so I think the next one will be the final one. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That would be super duper awesome. Amazing. There's a thumbs up. There it is right there. Thanks for watching. My name is Casey, and I will see you on more of The Walking Dead Michonne, the final episode of the future. Bye-bye, guys.